Mmm. All right. It is, uh, it's beautiful out, <laughs> friends. Look at it here. It's kind of muggy a little bit, but so friends, what, what we got here is I'm heading out to my buddy Brian's. Listen, friends, if you collect power saws like I do, is that, did I shut the door? Yeah, I did. If you collect power saws like I do, and you know, you, you've got your favorite ones that you run or your production ones that, that you run, like on production falling jobs or, you know, jobs like that. I don't, I don't bring a lot of the old Max. Some I do on ones that I know that are, that are, gonna stand up and have power um, but I'll tell you something I think it's important well I know it's important let's take a truck you let a truck sit for a year well the brakes seize up and things get tight and it just it's you, you get problems your ground wires go goofy the lights start to fit things start to break down but if you're running it steady friends it's gonna be better for the whole gig the whole way around so here's the Pro Max 60. I forgot where it come from, but I've had it for a little while now. Um, it, it's, it's time to run it, friends. It, it's time to run these saws. Uh, I keep them all out of gas. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't run them, I don't leave them hanging full on gas. Sometimes bar oil will, will slip off or get like there's a little bit of bar oil coming from this Mac, Pro Mac here. Uh, it's got an S cover on it, but it's not an S because an S has a, a compression button and that one doesn't so it's just a same cover right um anyway we're heading out to my buddy brian's oh i just about forgot there's my 902 we gotta take we gotta take the 902 today yeah we gotta test the 902 we gotta run the 902 yeah yeah this is, this is a beautiful saw i got full house on it right now but it'll be fine it'll be fine these saws are, are freaking beautiful i don't think there was anything i was missing on this saw i think it's fine i think yeah, should be good. What a beautiful looking saw. It looks like something out of the Jetsons, doesn't it? Hey, friends, look at it. I mean, come on. It, they're beautiful. I got the Iron Horse, uh, uh, call it the 8150 here. We're going to give it a run. So let's take it out there. We got our, our home light. We're going to give it a run too. Let's go here with it. Let's put this one. Yeah, there we go. But the, and then we got we got the Bellhopper 1010, which is always fun to run with a 325 sprocket. And I gotta get some axes, because we're gonna split some wood uh, for my buddy Brian, okay? Uh, Brian, Brian doesn't pay for that service anymore. He has been such a good man. He, uh, he helped me out. He, he asked my family if I needed a hand in, in when I broke my back and got nailed by that snag. He came by my bedside and he said, Buckin, do you need a hand? And I said, no, uh, thank you, Brian. I, I don't. I don't. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to make it. But he came to my bedside asking if I needed financial assistance. He's not my dad. He's not my brother. He's not my uncle. <laughs> those things he's my friend he needed a hand I couldn't do it that was right after my accident shortly after my accident I because I'm the sole provider of this family my wife works a couple days a week doing but at that time she didn't work at all so um, I'll never forget that I will never ever forget that so he doesn't pay for any firewood services or tree services out at his home anymore. And he hasn't for a long time. So that's just how that goes now. Uh, and you guys know who I'm talking about. Brian, you've met him. He's been on the channel. But I'm grabbing a couple axes because the wood's not really big out there. But I am going to bring my beautiful new Shaklanky Danky bluegrass. Okay. It's coming with us. Um, gosh, he's, you know what? I almost should take this little sucker out for a run. It is a two and a half pound. It's been sitting for a long time. 
It's settled. I'm bringing it. We're going to go put this thing to use today. It is freaking beautiful. Friends, you'll notice I'm going to do some axe stuff today. We're going to do um, kind of how to save out your axe and all that stuff. The hell's that? Oh, today. A little bit. Hey, look at this, friends. <laughs> cool, eh? Hey, if you caught me on the Axe Man show, History Channel's Axe Man, if you caught me and my son on there and you came over to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. Uh, now, I just made this axe, but I, I don't think I really need to bring it. But you know what? I think, oh, I know what I got to bring. I know what I got to bring. It just hit me. Yeah, Traylon. Traylon Ward, friends, you know Traylon. He's, he's one of our, 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 our major, major um, messengers of kindness. He's one of our majors. This is his axe. He wanted a double bit barbaric, and I've had this made for a while. He says, Buck, and what about running it, testing it? And I said, you're darn right. So we're going to take, take this out and beat up. This is the perfect size axe for the wood today. So that's great. I'm glad I remembered Traylon. I'll get a couple more axes. I'll see you on site, friends. Out in Yellow Point at Bryant's. Over and out. That should, I wanted to bring a couple different axes just to get some lighter ones, some heavier ones to give us a little idea what's, you know, I want to talk about saving out your axes today, friends, right? About saving out underneath the, the head. Techniques. I mean, I think we, we all pretty much know to hit the wood closest in front of us, but I think sometimes I can only speak for me, I can't speak for you uh, in any aspect of life. But um, I get lazy sometimes and I reach over and that's when you beat up your axis. So if you incorporate the flick, it won't go down any further. It goes out to the side and it doesn't scar up underneath your and beat your wood up. Like, let's say, there's got to be an axe beat up here somewhere. I would reckon there is. Yeah, you know. Yeah, stuff like this here. That's not even that bad. But I think you know, here's a perfect example. Right there. Beat to pulp. Look at it. That's the deal there. I don't know what went on, but that's what I'm talking about. That is the program that I'm talking about. my great great I think it's three greats it's one two maybe two great great but I thought it was three <laughs> uh, it's called Quinnell Lake and uh, yeah I was named after my great great grandfather through marriage and I always wondered well how can that work Smith Quinnell it works I read it in a book and I figured it all out but for me to sit here and tell you how it's done I couldn't I'd have to read it again. It's through marriage. But it, it's one of the biggest lakes around. It, it's really cool. If you looked at it from the sky down, it looks like it's got arms everywhere. It's kind of neat. But it is a warm lake. It's full of algae. It's beautiful. Farmland, right? running good right now. Remember that tree we cut down the other day with the uh, the nails in it? Yeah. It's right here. Lawson, how are you doing, buddy? Jimmy. And actually, I don't know your mom's name, but I'm driving by your house right now. Toot toot. Gonna hit a bump, friends. You're gonna jump. See you on site. There's our old growth, our famous old growth. It's a monster. Got root rot like mad. 
feel like I say that word a lot, root rot. <laughs> this is a gorgeous place, friends. Look at it. There's a dead cedar in here, apparently. I don't know where, but... Actually, we, uh... I've done a lot of work out here in the last, oh my goodness, 15 years, probably. Yeah. Yeah, here's our, here's our wood pile. It's not big wood, friends. You know, it's not big. But it's free for him, right? So let's back up. take all our room up we'll get set up I want to run this 60 friends it's a skip tooth chain looks like I got a pretty good file on it hasn't hasn't been run in a while but I want to run it friends I want to run the 60 I think it's kind of, uh, I'm not taking any, I'm not taking any wood home. Hey, Bri. Yeah, I'm still talking to myself. He bugs me, friends. He says, every time he sees me doing this, he says, are you still talking to yourself, Bucket? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, you know, so this, I got this trailer now. It's, it's, it's nice in there, so. Better size, Bri. Oh, we'll let that one go. Okay, here we are. We're back at Brian's. Friends, we're doing a little splitting for Bry, as you can see. I'll bring the rest of those little ones over. Okay, there. sounds good, Bry. So friends, I wanted to I wanted to show this axe. I made this axe, I think I showed it on the channel. It had a really a problem with the bit. It was all well, it was beat up and smashed, but it's a freaking rockaway, friends. So I thought I'd turn it into a little bucking buckaroon and put a little hook on her. It just, it's just something different. It's something I thought I would do. Um, it, like I say, it was in bad shape, but I just realized that this ax, friends, has crazy splitting uh, abilities. It's quite nice, really nice. And today what I want to do, friends, is I want to talk about saving out your axe. You know what I mean, friends? Saving out your wood here. Saving out this part of the axe, okay? That's what I want to talk about. Now, this wood is fairly small, friends, you know? And most of it is going to split pretty easily. This is nice dry fur. Really nice. I got some longer ones I gotta cut. So I'll put those out of the way. But this is what this ax is good for. I use it as a, as like a picaroon. You know what I mean, friends, like this. See that? It, uh, it actually, it works good. You just, you hook in and it, I mean, it's nothing. It, it, friends, it's not a picaroon. It, it doesn't work like a picaroon, it, but you can, it does kind of help a little bit. Not a ton. It's more for looks than anything, friends, to be honest with you. It's because the head was kind of foobar. But it, it actually splits. I quite like it. So my, my theme today is saving out your ax. And how we're going to do that, friends, is hitting the wood that is closest to us, right? So, for instance, and we're going to talk chopping block, too. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about a chopping block. So, it, 
as far as saving out your axe, friends, I mean, it's kind of obvious in my mind. You want to hit the wood that's closest to you. You don't want to reach across because when you reach across, you're going to hit your wood on your hand. Don't feel bad about hitting the dirt. If you want to use a chopping block, I've never used one because I lose my power. I lose my power on my swing, but if you want to use a chopping block, use one. See, that was the flick, friends. So we're just out helping Brian out. If you want to use a chopping block, see this is why I like this axe. It actually, it does work friends, this little hookaroon. See, it, it does work. If you're going to reach across now, don't be afraid to split wood like that. Just because you think that this is how you split wood is standing it up, friends. This is a great way to split wood on its side. It's a great way, especially with the right kind of, see? And believe it or not, it's easier on the ax, on the wood. So I just wanted to get in, get in here today and do a little of this today for us. What the hay? I didn't bring no wood hooks. See? You see what I mean, friends? It, it doesn't matter about... It just doesn't. The flick is a wonderful move. This is actually a nice axe. Friends, you can split wood with anything. Let's be honest. You can. That looks like yellow cedar. Oh, it's fur. See, you knock her down, then just don't, don't, don't be, don't bend down and stand it up again if you don't have to, friends. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't. So some of this. So again, friends, hit the wood closest to you. Right, friends? I use the axe as a cane when I'm working too. This is actually a really nice axe. I'm surprised. I made this just for fun. And it splits like crazy. Look at that, friends. What a beautiful 
see this all hit it closest to you right The double bit is best for the flick in my mind. Yes, please. Okay. You get that wood in a split, friends? be a bummer. Friends, I've been using um See, right there would have been a, a program where I could have injured my axe. See, like this. Hit your wood like that. Approach your wood the closest to you. It's going to save your axe out, friends. And if it doesn't go the first time, do the same thing. Now let's talk about, let's talk about chopping blocks. If you want to use a chopping block, friends, because you're afraid of hitting your axe, in the dirt, I, I'm not, I do, I hit rocks, I sharpen my axe, it don't matter. But I wanna show you something. Here's one that didn't get split. And it's gnarly, it's twisted. Thank goodness it's dry. Good. Okay, now, if you want a chopping block, I don't think we got one big enough. Oh yeah, we do. Here's one here. Oh, this is a nice bit of fur, this. Yeah, okay. Here's the reason, a couple of reasons I don't use a chopping block, friends. You lose your swing. I'll, I'll just show you. For starters, it's silly. You're, you're, you're doing too much work. 
Here's why I don't. Show you. Look what he's bringing me here. More balsam. Yay. Okay, so here's the deal. Have a look at this. This is why I don't use a chopping block. Okay. Here we go. Look, look where I'm hitting. Look where my explosive entry point is. It's right here. Well, this isn't terrible because these are short pieces of wood, but friends, I'm missing out on 14 or 15 inches of power and leverage. That's just one reason why I don't. Okay, just one. Now, it'll split, don't get me wrong. You'll, you'll split your wood, but here's another reason I don't use a chopping block, watch. see that let's just find a piece of wood okay here's a piece of wood here here's the deal this is why I like having a sharp axe if you don't have a sharp axe you can't pick up your wood this isn't even that bad friends it's just because what I'm used how I'm used to working using a sharp tool for my benefit but the but the deal is I still it's about energy for me I still had to reach and grab the thing and put it here right so Wow, that's a bugger, that one. Okay, so that's another reason why, because what I can do is go like this. There, it's split. There. Do you know what I'm saying, friends? It's too much, it's too much handling for me, okay? I don't need to handle the wood like that. It's not how I choose to do it. So, but if, here's the argument that the ground is soft and you're losing, you're losing inertia, you're losing power there. Well, there is some truth to that, no question about it. So here's, if you're gonna use a chopping block, here's what to do. Here's what to do, friends. And I may incorporate this in some, some, uh, some places. Okay, so this is how I would use the chopping block, friends. Use two, don't matter. Short, because, oh hey, I just picked up the woodman, the woodman ax. Look at that, friends. Isn't that dandy? So, this is gonna get stuck, I know it. I might approach this a little differently, this one. See, this is, this is another reason. There we go, split. So if you're planning on using a chopping block, friends, use a six incher, right? Now you're not losing all this power. Right, friends? See, now you're, now you're down in the swing zone. And actually, this is not right for me still. 
I can feel it. I'm losing that last little crunch in my in my core. You're losing it. You see those those freaking uh, uh, choppers from the logger sports friends? What they do? They're going like this, and they're using that crunch of the core. You don't get to use that when you're doing this, or let's let's say you're only using half of it. So this is another reason why I don't. Okay. Now here's, watch what happens. Here's how a guy wrecks his ax. He split this one, okay? It's already split, he's gonna reach across now. And he's gonna go, and he's gonna go through the wood. But I don't do that, I use the flick just by instinct because it saves my ax handle. So that was another thing I wanted to talk about today. So let's get rid of this one. It's still too big. That's about eight, eight inches. It's too big. Friends, use your ax. Just, just use it like it, like, you know what I mean? Like you can, you can do so much with it. This is better. Now I can literally, you see, there's that, that core, that, that's explosive part, right? I don't, you don't need to bend down friends. You just don't need to do it. This is a longer piece of wood, this one. And I can feel that it's gonna be stringy. So I'm gonna go at it from this. See that? We go, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision. Lovely. This is incredible stuff. So does that make fr uh, sense, friends? Does, does that make sense for the hard ground uh, talk? So here's another scenario, like, here's an ax, which is lightweight. It's probably, probably just over three pounds. I can swing it around like crazy. It feels light in my hands. The last ax I had, this one was great but it's heavy, it's big, it's heavy. This one is smaller, okay? It works wonderful. I've got other axes, matter of fact, I'm gonna grab one right now. We're gonna grab a double bet right now, friends. This one, okay? This is a man's, I, uh, I built this for a guy. So here's our chopping block. I'm not saying they're bad. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, très long. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh dear. Okay, I, I knew this would be like this. This is my barbaric ax. I almost kept this ax, friends, and you can see why. Because I'm an ax man. Nah. Right, look at it. Barbarism to the T. Busted up freaking chipped right so i guess what i'm saying friends is so there i went through the wood and i hit the i hit the uh the chopping block i just did i hit the chopping block and that's what we wanted Right? So th there it is. But this is a good way to use an axe too. You don't need to bend down. This axe is kind of kind of a splitter, this one. But it is rotten. You can tell by the way it's acting. Oh yeah. Trail on Ward. Very nice. Very nice, Trail on.
And friends, if you're gonna dig into your wood like that, like I do, you know how I, I use my ax like that? Use the corner, friends. The corner of your ax, do you know what I mean by that? I think you do. I'll show you what I mean. Sometimes the blade is too blunt and it won't stick into the wood. This is what I mean by that. So I'll show you both. Let's try it. Okay, that worked. That's good. That worked. But what I mean is this. I'll do it with this one. This is what I mean. Like that. That's what I mean. The corner of the bit. It just works better, okay? So here's two, I got two chopping blocks on the go, friends, look. It's your chopping grounds, do, do whatever you want. Right? It's your, it's yours, it's your oyster. That worked out nice. This balsam wood is uh, trail on. Brother, let me tell you something right now, buddy. <laughs> this thing's slick. I'm getting the sweat on now, I feel it. I'm feeling it. Okay, so I'm done with the chopping block. I don't use them. So, but I will save them. I will save them for over here. Okay? We got more wood to split. I think we should buck some now. Oh, dear Lord. Trail all! <laughs> This is nice, buddy. Really nice. Look at that barbaric ax, friends. Now that is the epitome. And look, I don't, you're gonna bark this up, friends. It's gonna happen. So what I do, I haven't done anything to this thing yet. I've done nothing to it. What I usually do is chamfer this down. You'll notice some of my axes are rounded here and there. I haven't done that to this ax yet. Just haven't done it. But I'll tell you, See that? Whoa. So that's the beautiful thing about life, friends, is you get to do whatever you want. You don't have to do it like me, or, or anybody for that matter. Make it your own soup. Tough wood, some of this.
big knot right there. There's something about having firewood in the old shed. Hey, isn't that friends? Okay, so here we are. See the ax, intact, fully intact. Of course it's got brushings on it. That's what it's supposed to do. This is a nice splitting profile, friends. Very nice. So in, in closing, friends, uh, on the axes, this is little wood. I don't like bucking little wood like this or splitting it for that matter. I don't, I like the bigger stuff. This is really kind of just, it gets brought in and it's just, you're, you're almost better to throw stuff out. You can only get in so deep. You know, you can start from the outside, but it's all just, there's a hundred ways to skin a cat, right friends? Hey, on that note, friends, listen, if you're doing stuff like this, you know what? Make your own stew. Do you know what I mean by that? There is no right way, friends. I do it one way, I've been doing it for freaking years. And there's other guys out there been doing it for freaking years and they're gonna do it different. And you're gonna do it different. Take what you like, leave the rest and make your own stew. That's what I say. Use whatever I, you can from here, from other places and, and, and make your own stew and develop your own knowledge and own experience. That's, that's life. That's what so is beautiful about life. There's nothing to the same. You know what I mean? I, I, I love that about it, you know? And, and, and these guys that, that, that come on and say, hey, you're not doing it right? Well, <laughs> like that always makes me chuckle. <laughs> I almost feel like, I don't say nothing as you guys know, but it always makes me feel like saying, damn, I, I wish I was. Damn it, I've been trying to do it right forever. Could you show me how to do it? You know what I mean? I, I just think it's so funny. Oh, anyways, I, that's about it for that. But anyway, friends, listen, in closing on the axes, by far today, this freaking thing, trail on ward, buddy, I'm telling you, it's been christened. It didn't even think about moving, buddy. And I smacked the poop out of it. I did, pal. I mean, look at it. Look at this silly thing. Look at it. How could you even... What a beautiful axe. A chip out of the bottom, just like... <laughs> I love it. It still splits like freaking crazy. I think this is... I'll have to get my glasses on, but I can't really see what that is. Charleston. It's Charleston, West Virginia, USA. I do know that. Charlestown. Hey, okay. Yeah. So, so that was one of the highlights today right there. That sucker. Let me tell you that right now. I didn't do, use my little short one. Look at that bugger. Son of a gun. Beautiful. And then this old girl, this was good. This thing split really good. Whoever's looking for a nice straight handled freaking wedge banger with a little bit of character to it, I'm telling you right now, that's a nice bloody axe. No slippage whatsoever. I kicked the bonanzas out of it again. The banashas, the beningas, bonanjas, right out of her. Worked good. Worked real good. Let's put her right there. Get her there. And then, of course, friends, this thing. I mean, you can't, you can't even, yeah, no. This thing's nuts. Oh, beautiful. That was the, uh, the, uh, the, the bluegrass, friends. And then the old wood man, eh? The, the, oh, this thing's deadly. I can't wait to throw a different handle on it, to be honest with you. I, I mean, it's great the way it is. It's a real swinger, real zip zanger, zang, dunger, danger. It is. But uh, I think the handle... At some point, but it may surprise me. I said that. I said that about another axe, and the, the thing's still going. It's still going. It's our beater upper thing we use for anything. And then this thing's just too light. It's it's just a beautiful, beautiful axe, and it's just too light for what I'm doing right now. But it is back, freaking tacular. Okay, friends. Now I thought I had another axe. Did I, or is that just an empty space? Oh no, that's for a power saw. That's what that is. <laughs> that's for this thing. Bell hopper, buddy. I'm telling you, pal, you 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 build a nice saw. You build a nice Mac. You just do. No question about it. Oh, looks like I got to move that axe. Um, what do I need to do here? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go like this, like this, like this, like this. Then I need to go like this, like that. And then I need to grab this thing. Just come over here like this. Yeah. 
and then go like that. There she is. Downtown. Downtown Greg Brown. use chopping blocks friends make them short make them make them half of what you're used to give it a try i don't use them but i i, I can understand why you, you, your back stays straighter use your axe to grab your wood don't you don't have to bend down don't bend down just use your axe flick you know and, and or pick a rune or whatever just use your sharp axe if you're using a maul, that's not gonna work. You won't be able to pick up the wood like that. I probably will when I'm an older man, use a chopping block. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> I could see it now. <laughs> anyway, friends, over and out. Get the gullet. See you in the trees, friends.